Mountain Blade Warband, the most legendary and magnificent third-person and first-person action sandbox. One of a kind, and playable on most PCs, even if your PC is garbage. Warband was the first game I ever played, especially because I didn't have a real gaming PC for a long time, and I could still play Warband on a shitty 10-year-old laptop. The minute-to-minute gameplay comes in two parts. First, overworld travel, raiding, trading, and running away. Second, on-the-ground combat in huge field battles or sieges with AI that can either be brutal to a fault or mentally challenged. Hiding underneath the medieval warfare sim disguise lies a strategy game of depressing proportions that emphasizes the need to pillage and barter and ass kiss. Modding turns an already dynamic, replayable experience into a socially isolating and crippling addiction. I'm not even talking about multiplayer. Oh. Is hands down one of the best mods for Warband I have ever played. Starting in the year of our Lord 1257, the year of a volcanic eruption covering the entire Earth in ash, the player must conquer or claim territory in a full-sized, somewhat historically accurate Europe. I chose to be the defender of the Novgorod Republic for as long as I could stand against their enemies as well as the ineptitude of the Rus nobility. With one town to my name, I set out to make my way in the world. After a full year or more of in-game days and a six month gap between playing, I returned to this mod and the battle that made me need to take a break in the first place. I save scummed like a monster. I'll admit it. Till the outcome was... less horrific. Which took four days in real time. The Kingdom of Sweden had swept through our territory and captured the capital, Veliki Novgorod. Outnumbered and outclassed, with the only option being an unwinnable battle in the snow or a doomed siege, I chose both. For the Republic! Со мною сердце, да родина моя. 